Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be doing a multi-color, multi-layer hot fix rhinestone t-shirt. If you haven't done so already, make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel. Click on that notification bell so that you'll know when I upload new content. So let's get started. I'm going to go ahead and um, brush the rhinestones out for layer number one. These are clear rhinestones in the size SS10 or 5 millimeter uh, hot fix rhinestones. My rhinestones come from becreateful.com and I'm just checking it to make sure everything's going the right way and then I'm going to go ahead and get those rhinestones up with transfer tape. All right and that's layer number one. This uh, portion of the video is sped up 20 times the normal time it takes to do this uh, just for the sake of time uh, at the end I will slow this down quite a bit so that you'll be able to see the process of pressing the rhinestones onto the t-shirt so these uh, stones are topaz uh, still size SS 10s or 5 millimeter stones just checking to make sure everything's going the right way before we get that up on the uh, transfer tape and set that aside so it's ready to be pressed. Layer number three. I had an issue with layer number three. Uh, a couple issues. Uh, the, the stones are SS10s, uh, but different manufacturers of different stones uh, vary in size. So they were just a little bit uh, smaller uh, than my uh, the holes were cut for the rhinestone template uh, so I had to uh, flip uh, some of those jet black stones uh, to get them into place they didn't go in quite as easy and these are co coffee topaz stones for the football now if you if you look really closely you'll see that all of those stones all of a sudden uh, flipped and turned over and the reason why is because I underestimated the weight of my flashlight and dropped it onto my workspace and all the stones flipped out of place <laughs> so I basically had to do layer three all over again and if I didn't love it so much uh, I would have been very upset <laughs> without having to do this layer this is the most difficult layer because of the size of the stones um, and I had to do this layer all over again uh, but you live and you learn and uh, so we're just getting those rhinestones uh, going again uh, all flipped over because they literally all flipped upside down <laughs> and I am holding that flashlight really really tight this time making sure everything is turned the right way uh, with the hot fix sides facing down all right it's looking good so I'll go ahead and get those up with the transfer tape make sure everything is as straight as possible all right and then we will set that aside and now it is actually time to go to the heat press now I've slowed this video uh, down so that you can see the process for applying these rhinestones um, directly uh, to the t-shirt the t-shirt is by Bella canvas is 100% ring spun cotton very soft uh, very good quality shirt what I'm doing right now is I'm pressing the moisture out of uh, the shirt. You want to definitely make sure that you do not miss this step uh, because if moisture is trapped within the fibers, then eventually your rhinestones will uh, pop off or become unstable and um, that that's never okay. Alright, so what I'm doing is I'm just... Uh, uh, I use my finger just to uh, roughly measure three inches down, which is where the top of the design is going to be. And I have my first layer here. I started with the biggest layer uh, that I had, and I was thinking that 
I would be able to uh, to go ahead and uh, apply this design and have enough space but I didn't so what I'm gonna do is go ahead and move the t-shirt up and moving the t-shirt up um, what I need to do is press that shirt out again because the bottom of uh, that area did not get the moisture pressed out of it so we're going to go ahead and repress it so that the bottom part gets the moisture pressed out of it and then we can go ahead and start all right so remember we already measured that three inches that three inches uh, is now at the top of the um, the the pad all right right there where I'm pointing that's the middle making sure that I get the middle straight uh, because on my rhinestone on the uh, transfer sheet is the rhinestones are kind of on there at an angle which is fine there's nothing wrong with that uh, but if you're not careful, the transfer tape being cut at an angle can kind of throw you off. So make sure that you're looking at the rhinestones and not the transfer tape so that you can get it straight. So what I'm going to do is um, just checking it and I can tell that it is over too far to the right so I'm moving over a little bit and up I want to make sure that that top line is aligned with the edge of my plate and so I'm going to get the ruler just to make sure that they are as straight as they possibly can be and that I've got it lined up okay and then once I'm satisfied with that I will go ahead and place the Teflon uh, over the design as a heat protectant and then I will give it a press for 12 seconds And make sure that you know your heat press machine, whatever heat press you are uh, using. Make sure that you know it. Uh, it can vary slightly from manufacturer to manufacturer, so make sure that you're familiar with your heat press. And mine is set at 320 degrees. And 12 seconds for hot fix rhinestones works great for me. All right, we're going to use this transfer tape again. Uh, so we'll go ahead and put that to the side. So we've got layer number one here. We'll go ahead and remove any lint uh, that's visible here. And so that we get ready for layer number two. Now layer number two, notice that when I take the rhinestones off the transfer paper, I turn it upside down and pull the, the backing off then I turn it over and the reason is because the weight of the rhinestones um, with the gravity it it keeps those rhinestones in place better than if you're trying to pull that top sheet off of the backing so there's just a bit more stability uh, so you don't have to worry about stones moving um, as much that can be a very frustrating process if stones move underneath that transfer tape. So go ahead and, and um, press out layer number two. Same thing, about 12 seconds. All right, and remove that transfer tape. Put it back on the backing so that we can use that again. 
and so you can see the design is starting to come together and we're going to go ahead and put the icing on the cake with layer number three that dreaded layer number three <laughs> I will never underestimate the weight of my flashlight ever again. <laughs> All right, here's the icing on the cake. All right, so we're making sure that we get those, you know, you can kind of feel for it, uh, but I like to take a look uh, closely with the flashlight and make sure that I'm not missing anything. Looks good. And looks like it's ready for the next press. Apply the Teflon. Now, I'm not sure why I the software that I use uh, for my Cricut to uh, cut out the rhinestone template is called Sure Cuts a Lot. For some reason, on this particular design, however, it was originally designed, there is an area right in the uh, curve of the uh, the high heel. Uh, that just does not cut um, a couple rhinestone holes so what I need to do right there is just manually add a couple clear rhinestones to finish off the design uh, so I'm just taking a couple loose stones And I am just using my uh, tweezers just to push those into place. And once I get them in place, I'm going to take a smaller piece of transfer tape and I'm going to put it right over those stones just to hold them in place. And I'm going to reapply the Teflon. And I'm going to give it one final press. All right, and that looks much, much better. Now, the last thing that we need to do in order to be done. Uh, for an added layer of security, what we're going to do is we are going to turn that shirt inside out and we are going to give it a press on the wrong side. Make sure that everything is affixed to this t-shirt and that it's not going anywhere. So if my customer takes good care of um, her shirt and heeds the washing instruction uh, she will be able to enjoy this beautiful rhinestone t-shirt for a good long time and we're going to make it as easy as possible for her to do that by uh, that final layer of security all right so let's see what we have here absolutely beautiful and it turned out good here's the finished product so sparkly so beautiful very very wonderful way to be as cute as you can be on game day or anytime you want to represent your team I have uh, many of uh, these available on the website, different teams, college teams, pro teams. So if you don't want to do a DIY yourself, uh, come on over to the website and I'd be happy to do one for you. Thank you for watching. Make sure you comment below and give me a thumbs up. If you enjoyed this video, if you learned something, let me know. 
and make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel. Click on that notification bell so you know when I upload new content. And if you know anybody who might like to enjoy a video like this as well, go ahead and share my video. And I'll see you next time. Thank you.